Hi, uh, thanks for your interest in my hoodie mock-up file, which is at sale on Graphic River. Um, this is a photorealistic mock-up, which basically allows you to place any sort of artwork on top of a hoodie shape, and it then looks as if it were perfectly integrated and part of the hoodie. Um, this is really easy to use and really fun to present your uh, logo or whatever artwork you may have created. Um, here's some quick tips on how to get the most out of your file. Once you open the file, you will see that uh, there's two hoodies back and front uh, on top of a wooden board. Um, actually, there's two types of front. There's one with zip. You can simply hide that away by clicking the icon and one without zip. So you can work with whatever version you prefer to work with. Now to um, place your artwork, this is really easy. Each of the three models, uh, once you uh, expand the folders, has one yellow highlighted, which is called your artwork containing a smart object. Simply double click that smart object and you will see the sample artwork here. You can just uh, delete that or hide it, uh, whatever you prefer, and open any other uh, of your artwork. Um, I've already opened a file here and uh, simply drag it into the your artwork um, smart object, place it more or less centrally or wherever you want to place it, um, save and close and you will see magically this now has appeared um, over the hoodie. It looks nicely integrated here but you can see at the top um, the shape is actually flowing over the uh, hood part of the hoodie and uh, we can get rid of that by simply activating here um, the hoods. The color would be orange and you can see now it looks as if it was painted below the hood. Changing the colors of the main shape of the hoodie and the hood itself is really easy. You, I've prepared a few sample colors which you can just click on to show and hide. That's really easy to use and it's the same for the hood itself in colored hoodies. Simply change any of the colors. Hang on, the hood is gone again. There we go. Simply change, choose any of the colors or create your own. To create your own new color, the easiest way is to simply create a new layer here. Um, in the colored hoodies, choose new layer, give it any color, say bright blue, name it any color, say bright blue, uh, take a selection from one of the existing. By control clicking on the icon, you will see this is activated a selection here. Choose the new layer uh, and simply paint with any color you might choose. Let's go for a bright blue here and use your paint bucket and simply paint over it. And there you go. Perfect photorealistic results and your artwork looks really nicely integrated. Now the way this works is that basically what we have, um, if I just hide the shadows and the highlights here, um, I hide the hood and I hide the artwork, you can see we have a very simple um, body outline shape which we fill with any solid color and then the actual shape with bends and folds and lights and shadows um, of the of the hoodie comes from the shadows and highlights we have uh, in several layers here. Um, these are all fully editable so you can for example take the shadows give it give them more uh, opacity main shadows give them more opacity give the highlights more opacity or less opacity um, simply play play around with options here um, and you can you can uh, refine uh, how uh, strong uh, you want the the shapes the folds and the the depths and the highs uh, of the hoodie to display so you have a lot of options here you can play around with mm, to fine-tune everything to your taste but the default options will work best for most artwork artwork you apply to the hoodie. Um, the uh, Your artwork smart object actually has some filters applied mm, which uh, add to the realism of the artwork that you add to the hoodie. And uh, here's a quick explanation on how these works. Actually the first time you place an artwork in the smart object and save it will ask you for a displacement map the uh, displacement map is part of the download it's called map.psd a photoshop file so once you save there will be a pop-up it will uh, um, ask you for some param parameters um, 
which is the vertical scale and the uh, horizontal scale which I put at 5 and 5 so it's just a very small distortion to add to the realism but not actually stretch and pull your artwork around on the hood and you then say OK and it will and then open a browser window to prompt you to find your uh, uh, to find your uh, displacement map and uh, wherever you've saved that on your uh, computer you simply choose it and you can see the artwork then stretches to that uh, displacement map um, actually the map I used here wasn't the correct one so you can see there are some artifacts here this hasn't displaced correctly so let's just undo this here we are and we have the the original again um, I applied a little sharpen filter which gets a little, little more sharpness to the artwork you place on there and uh, the displacement filter we just talked about and the add noise which uh, just adds this little bit of uh, noise and feel here you go you see it gone see it come on again just a little bit of uh, texturized field feel to your artwork um, and then there's a very slight drop shadow which again gives a little depth to the artwork placed on top you can simply put that on and off it doesn't make much of a difference these are very subtle um, tweaks to give more realism to your artwork and finally here's a quick tip on uh, using the masks you can see that uh, the shape of the hoodies have been masked out so that when you apply the artwork it only appears over the hoodie itself when working with the smart objects or the mask sometimes you can lose that mask or it gets shifted around or, or edited slightly and there's a really, way, a really easy way to regain that mask um, you simply delete the current one by right clicking on the mask icon and deleting layer mask you can see now how the artwork spreads out over the borders of the shape and then you simply take any of the colored, hido uh, colored hoodies control click on the icon to activate the selection go back to your smart object uh, click it to activate that layer and then at the bottom of the layer palette simply choose uh, add layer mask click on that and you can see you've got your original mask back now if you moved that uh, smart object around on the hoodie um, you will see it will actually again go over the borders uh, of the hoodie shape that is because um, you have this little link here which links the layer mask to the smart object uh, and therefore what you're shifting is actually the layer mask with its content you unclick this un uh, deactivate it and then you only oops you will only be uh, moving the layer content but not the mask itself and you can see that uh, the areas which are not part of the hoodie are nicely masked out and you can just uh, move around your object on your artwork on the hoodie wherever you like the zip and the brass and the strings on the uh, front uh, version of the hoodie are actually all cutouts um, you can simply deactivate them or reactivate them any way you like and you can also therefore color them if you would like to uh, for example let's take here the left string and just right click it layer properties sorry uh, blending options we go to uh, color overlay and here you can see you can just use any color and change the color of the string you're working with you can do the same for the zipper for the brass for anything on there so the whole thing is completely editable and completely customizable uh, for your needs everything works great by default but you have all the options you may need to play around and have a little fun presenting your artwork so I hope you enjoy that file and I hope you have some fun presenting your stuff with it and if there's anything you may need in terms of support you can always contact me through my graphic river page and I'm always happy to help out. Have fun.